Hey homeowners, hope you're having an inspiring day. This video is different from the usual videos because we are furnishing a two-story house. Thank you so much for watching last week's episode. We are truly appreciative of your comments. And if you haven't seen the video, don't worry about it. We will link it over here. With the skill and talent of our in-house designer, shout out Sir Melvin, we were able to furnish a two-story house with MF Home items, of course. I can't wait to show you how we did it, and I'm sure you are curious about the budget, so sit back, relax, and let's begin. A little background about this furnishing project. Our client is a married couple with a gorgeous little daughter. The two are working abroad and as a good investment, they decided to purchase one of the units here at Robbins Lane. Let's start in the living room with the big pieces. Here we only have 9.85 square meters, not that much but not too little as well. Of course, we chose the right furniture pieces just like this Camro Sofa 3-seater, a practical choice for a family of three. Now, before we set our side table, let's set up the curtains. We're using two types of curtains. One is sheer and the other is the regular one. This is also why we use the double bracket. You can adjust the brightness of the natural light that comes inside. Let's see how these curtains will go with our Bristol side table. And here, we're placing our Hunter 2 door shoe cabinet behind the door to maximize the space and this is the most accessible spot. Next, our Claude TV rack. Perfect fit, not too big and not too small which means it doesn't take up a lot of space. Besides, the client has the option to mount the TV on the wall to make more space for traffic. Let's add our rug that matches our ivy nesting table. She's gorgeous, isn't she? Ready to see the final look? Well, let's go to the dining area first. <laughs> I'm the great killjoy of the year, but we'll reveal it later when the dining area is done. So right next door to our living room is the dining area, measuring 6.60 square meters. Our designer kept it minimal, so the client can easily enhance the design if he decides to do so. Let's begin with the lighting. This is our glass pendant lamp with a black base and white glass. Elegantly perfect. It adds mood to space instantly. 
Here's Miko's six-seater dining set. Its table is so simple design-wise, but it's super sturdy. Love the rich, dark wood look. All right, now that we have our dining set here, let's get into decorating. You guys ready for the reveal? This one is finally good. One, two, three. If you noticed, our designer used a neutral color scheme because the clients want it simple, cozy, and relaxing. And they want to stick with a wall color, which is a neutral shade. Since they have a toddler, we avoided pieces of furniture that have sharp edges. Good thing the height of a TV rack is much lower than their child's. So, yay or nay, what do you think? Oh, what about the bedrooms, you ask? Easy, easy. Stay tuned for part two because we will be furnishing the bedrooms the man. Woo woo! I hope you guys enjoyed the first part of this episode. I'll see you in part two where we will be showing the total budget and of course, the final reveal. So till then, stay well. This is Zia, inspiring your home.